morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. How the heck is everybody today? It is cooling off a little bit in Arizona. It's like 107. It's going to be today, but it's getting like in the 70s at night here, which is nice because you can open up the doors and let that air and the breeze flow through. So that's really nice. I'm wondering if they're going to cancel Halloween this year. I see a lot of Halloween candy and I see the costumes and stuff, but I don't know what your specific state is going to do regarding all of that, you guys. Anyway, you know, weird times we live in. Hey, you guys, I'm really excited for all you new folks um, and for all, all of those joining us back that come back on a regular basis. My cool sculpting, my second and last treatment is today. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I paid to have cool sculpting done on my arms right here, on these arms right here. And um, the reason why I did that is I'm very self-conscious about my arms. And I live in Arizona where it gets to be 120, you know, months out of the year, it's over 100 degrees. So sleeves and sleeveless is almost a requirement if if you are outside or you're in the heat at all. And I am uh, embarrassed about my arms. So I am an older woman and my arms and the loose skin have really been bothering me. So three months ago, I went in and had my first treatment. When I measured my arms, they were 15 inches and we tried to measure them this way. I didn't have this definition at all, especially from the back. My arms, when I do this, are much better. And we're gonna, sh we're gonna take a picture in the same shirt that I wore the first time. So I've got before and after pictures all the way along. So I'm gonna share that later on in the video when we go to Cool Sculpting. But for right now, I wanna go into the fact that Harry and I track everything. We analyze everything. We're almost down within 20 pounds, 12 for our first weight goal and then maybe 20 pounds total um, to get to our goal weight and everything has slowed down. We have very sensitive metabolisms. My metabolism was completely broken. Um, I'm able to eat more than I ever have before and I'm able to lose weight on it, but we're still tracking everything. We keep our food whole and simple best we can with an occasional packaged keto item because we do want to get down and then maintain our weight. So everything that you eat the day before, that would include any vitamins, any medication you take, any over-the-counter drugs such as Advil, Aleve, Naproxen, Tylenol can all affect your weight. It can affect you by um, giving you weight gain, puffiness, swelling, lack of sleep, cortisol, stress in your life, all those things can affect and stall your weight loss, okay, and cause inflammation. So with that, I want to share with you, every day I do a menu, and we stay with the menu the best we can, and if I need to adjust it, I do at the end. So this is yesterday's menu, which we followed precisely, and I will share with you guys what we had. We had an 18 hour fast yesterday. And when I say fast, I mean intuitive eating. We don't purposefully fast unless I tell you we're gonna do a specific fast. Um, we intuitively eat. We decide when we're hungry and that's when we eat. So, I'm sorry, Harry. Ooh, Harry's mad at me again. He's over there growling and huffing because he was gonna come in, then he came out, and then he's upset. Just come on. <laughs> anyway, you guys. I had four eggs scrambled with a half an avocado. I topped it with Alterna ketchup and I scrambled my eggs in a tablespoon of butter. Harry loved his ground uh, chuck beef bowl with three eggs on top. I put a tablespoon of beef tallow in his ground chuck and a tablespoon of butter is what I cooked his fried eggs in. Love it. It was delicious, he loves it and I'm glad he loves it. For dinner, I cooked chicken thighs. I just sprinkled it with Byron's butt rub, super easy, super simple. We each had three, three chicken thighs. These ones were bone in. We each had 
Well, I had two tablespoons Chipotle mayonnaise by Primal, which is 100% avocado mayo. Harry had three tablespoons Chipotle mayo. And then we each throughout the day, one in the morning, one in the evening, had two scoops of collagen. I had a half a scoop of base, uh, perfect keto base, because I had a migraine the day prior. And sometimes my, art, my eyes want to go back into getting a migraine again. Base gives me ketones right to my brain. And if you guys wanna know about migraines and keto, Harry will link that video at the end of our of this video. So wait till the end and then click on it and, and read about it. Um, I had my eyes checked last week. They put drops in, they put, um, uh, made them uh, very light sensitive. You know, they shine the light in your eyes with your pupils dilated, that caused a migraine. And so once I get one triggered, my body wants to go into that mode. So anyway, that's what I had. I had six tablespoons Khalifa pumpkin spice. Harry had Khalifa toasted almond and almond milk as well. So yesterday I had 5% carbs, 15.8 grams total. And I do count total carbs and that's with the avocado. 70% fat for a total of 93.6 grams. 25% protein for a total of 73.9 grams. I had 1,193 calories, and that's 1,193 or 1,200, depending on the chicken thighs and all that good stuff. So that's the best we can do with our Fitbit tracker. Harry had zero carbs for a total of 0 0.9 grams. 69% fat for a total of 129 124.6 grams. His protein was 31% protein for a total of 126.6 grams. His total calories were 1,655. And if you guys hear the trash truck, it's because it's trash day today and they just decided to come by. So apologize for the noise in the background. You guys, we both had a great night's sleep. We took Zenzies before we went to sleep. And we both went down. So I had gone up um, because I took over-the-counter medication. I took stuff for my migraine. I went up yesterday. I wasn't worried. I knew I would have a weight loss again today, and I did. I went down to 179.8, which is a loss of 6 tenths. Harry went down to 178.2, which is a total of 8 tenths of a pound. So with this, you guys, we also track on a big board. We track for a um, month at a glance. So we can pull out hidden inflammation or foods that cause weight gain. So let's go to the big board and this is Harry's baby. So I'm gonna let Harry go over that with you. Hey Harry, how the heck are ya? I'm here. Oh, you're happy today, happy boy, happy yeah. boy. You should be happier, you had coffee today. Pumpkin spice coffee too. Going on. Okay. Yes, there is. Okay, so What's going on here is that yesterday when you had a migraine, so she went up, she went up in weight because of the pills she was taking. I stayed basically the same because we pretty much locked in. Uh, we were using the stuff that we always that works for us really well, uh, except we had a few things like some barbecue sauce, which I think caused me to stay the same instead of losing anything. Then we went on to yesterday where we ate basically the regulars, the stuff that we know causes us to lose weight. Which and, was? Which was basically eggs. Chi we had chicken, chicken thighs. I had some of my ground beef, you know, pretty much just the stables, tallow, mayo, stuff like that that we know that we, we don't really gain weight on. This brought us over to this, which brought us back down again. So we're still experimenting to see what things work with us and what don't. And we're, we're coming down. The list is slowly getting larger here. From our, from our elimination yeah, diet. From the elimination diet, because we eliminated and just started adding things on. And as we're adding things on, we can see what works and what doesn't. And so this is basically slowly getting bigger and bigger. And we're losing weight because we're using the things that we've proven that we lose weight on. Okay? So that's why we're where we're at now. You said that you think that that caused you to gain weight. Uh, the barbecue sauce. I think your quest was left over. No. I think you gained it here. 
and then I think you maintained, and then I think you whooshed it here. Because it can be the day well, I'll prior. Go, I'll go over that. Okay. Yeah, it can be the day prior, too. Okay. It could be your barbecue sauce. You're right, but we have to try that separately yeah, this next time. I know, but that's the only new thing in there. Right, in but, that list. but you didn't go, you didn't gain weight, you just maintained. Right. And I'm looking so, for stuff that helps me lose Right. Weight. I understand completely. So the, the moral of the story is, is if you're doing that, don't add more than one new thing at a time. Yeah. Because then it convolutes it and you can't find it. Anyway, you guys, I'm really excited. We have uh, some business to attend to this morning. Uh, today is my day off. And then we have to get ready to go to cool sculpting. But right now, I want to take the pictures and show you guys of my... Um, cool sculpting arms. I'm going to go put on the shirt that I wore the first time so you can see the difference because we're going to show the difference between when I first did it and after I did it uh, three months later. And then at the very end, when we're all done three months from now, we'll show the progression of three different shots to see if I've lost inches. I know I've lost inches if it looks better. My shirts are fitting better. My shirts, my arms aren't crammed into my shirt anymore. Um, so come back in the next segment and I'll take a real quick pic of my uh, arms. Today is September 25th and I'm going in for my second and final treatment of my cool sculpting on my arms. So I want to share everybody with, with my arms. This is the shirt that I wore when I originally had my picture taken. Okay, you guys, so I'll take you back into the cool sculpting room for those of you who are new and share with you when they do that. And then I'll show everybody right afterwards what my arms look like right after they do the cool sculpting. Because sometimes you get these big hickeys underneath because they suck it all into this machine. So I'll share all that with you guys as well. So anyway, you guys, we need to get going because we have to go take care of some business this morning before we go do my cool sculpting. Hey everybody, today's menu. What's on the menu today? What did you say, steak? Yes, I said steak, you guys. We have a big chuck steak for breakfast. Mine's 14 ounces, Harry's is 15. And we're putting a tablespoon of butter on it because we can. And that's what we're having to break our fast with. We gotta head out the door. I wanted something that would be satisfying, delicious, and would sit well while I had my cool sculpting done today. But tonight, I'm probably not going to feel that well. My arms are going to be sore. So I want eggs for dinner tonight. I'm having three eggs, half an avocado, cook my eggs in a tablespoon of butter, and I'm topping them with alternate ketchup because I can. Harry's having four eggs. And four ounces of liver sausage. I'm cooking his eggs in a tablespoon of butter. And I'm giving him a tablespoon of mayonnaise for his liver sausage. He can have mustard if he wants. And a pickle too. I don't know if he wants that with his eggs. But we'll see. Anyway, two scoops of collagen throughout the day. And total of six tablespoons of Khalifa half pumpkin spice. Because it's delicious. Anyway, I'm having a total of five carbs for the day. 14 grams. I'm having a total of 58% fat for a total of 79.3 grams. My protein is 37% at 110.7 grams. And my calories are 1,309 calories for the day. Harry's having zero carbs for a total of 5.2 grams, which are his eggs. 62% is fat for a total of 105.1 grams. 37% protein. Now his protein's going to be a little bit higher, you guys, but I had to do it to get his calories up where they need to be. So let's see what Whoa. this 142.5 does when your lean mass is 133. That's not very much. That's only like one and a half, one and a half ounces yeah. more. So total calories, 1658. Okay, you guys, I'm going to cook some steak, get it in the air fryer. We'll bring you guys along. Okay, everybody, it's time to break our fast, so I'm going to start cooking those big steaks. I don't know if they're both going to fit in there or not. And we got more stuff to do, then I got to get out the door to the cool sculpting, so. Hmm. Nothing like a pan of meat, man.
Let me get some salt on that, Harry. Want some Byron fat rag? Or just salt? What do you want? Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I feel like Byron's. I feel like some Byron's today. I'll show everybody Byron's butt rub. It's delicious. Redmond's real salt. Best salt on earth. There you go. Woo! Little bit of butt rub makes everything better. Okay, you guys, these guys are going in for eight minutes. 400 degrees. See you in with steak. Okay, that steak timer just went off. So. It's steak time. Ooh, 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 yum, 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 yum. Nice big fat steaks for everybody. You already turned them over. I did everything. Those puppies are done. Greasy slap. Ooh, there we go. Mm-mm-mm. Doesn't oh, that good, look delicious? It? Yes, indeed. Where are you going with it? I don't know what I'm doing here. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. So we're going to let this rest and we'll come back, you guys. Do you want pepper on yours? Mm -hmm. Yep. Always. Always. I got butt rub. We cooked them in butt rub. Oh, yeah, you guys. Ho, 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 steak. It's what for breakfast. Woo! Yum. Look at the butter on there. That look good. Look I can't it. tip them because they're juicy. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm coming up. Can you get it? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, folks, gotta eat now. They've rested enough. I'm trying to see red, but it's so bright out here, you know. Is it? Keep your hand, keep, oh yeah, put your arm right back over your face a little bit. Right there, I can just kind of see the red. Go well, ahead. It's all red right here. Yeah. And you guys, and right here, see, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. The first time I went, the machine had to fit twice. So they had to do two treatments on each arm to suck all the fat. There was that much fat. Yeah. In both arms, so that was four treatments. Today was one treatment. They were able to suck all my fat into the machine, one machine. Yeah. So I have a whole nother treatment that's already paid for in three months. Wow. They said, wow, you've really lost. She said, can you tell? And I said, yeah, oh, I yeah. can tell. I can they, tell. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously. Yeah. I'm all covered with the goo yeah. even though I wiped a million times anyway you guys I'm I'm excited I don't know if I have any hickeys on my armpits probably I'm probably gonna have hickeys so it'll be interesting we'll share everybody when I get home <sighs> that They're was probably so much easier because it was a 35 minute treatment I know I thought I'd be sitting on it Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I just got back from my uh, cool sculpting appointment. And the good news is, today they were able to use one. When I first went in, my arms were so fat that they took two, two different times. The first time you went the there. The first times I went there. Today is the second time, so it's been three months. They, they got all of it into one treatment. So uh, in three months, I get to go back and I still have a treatment left. So I'm really excited for that. The machine is only so big and when it sucks the fat in, it can only hold so much. And so the first time I went, my arms were so big that I needed to have it placed twice, on, yeah. twice on my arm in two different spots in order to grab the fat from my elbow to my armpit. So right now my arms are burning, they're on fire. Coming home, they were frozen and I was super cold. Um, I decided that we should stop at Denny's on the way home. We ended up eating. I had four eggs. I had four eggs and I add a side of avocado. And then Harry had eggs and bacon instead of uh, his eggs. And what did I say it was? He was going to have 
uh, liver sausage. So I've got to change his menu for tomorrow, but I just didn't feel like cooking because tomorrow we're going to a birthday barbecue at Chalice's house. Oh, Chalice is my daughter, for those of you who don't know. We're going over to her house and we're gonna have, she wants me to share and show her how to make chaffles. So I'm taking all of my pumpkin spice products to make that and then we're going to grill steaks for lunch and I'm taking uh, keto deviled eggs over. So anyway you guys, um, I don't have pictures at Denny's because we only had my phone and I used my phone to watch vlogs and stuff while I was getting my cool sculpting done. So Harry started to tape and my phone died. Yep. So he was in the car waiting for me and his phone was dead. So we didn't get any pictures, but basically it was eggs. We had breakfast for yeah, our dinner. Yeah, breakfast dinner. And it dinner. was good, it was fine, and I came home and I actually was tired and I took about a half an hour nap. Um, I think this kind of shocks your system. You, I get got very cold in the room because you are minus negative 12 degrees Celsius on your arms when they do it, and at first it burns it really burns, cold burn, and then you get numb. And there was the Velcro that they used to wrap my arms with, kept pinching my armpit. It drove me crazy, because you're sitting there with that on you for over 30 minutes, so 35 minutes or something like that. Anyway, you guys, took a little nap, woke up, now I gotta make deviled eggs. Ah, but I think I'm gonna close out this vlog, and I hope everybody had a great day today. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed your day with your family and loved ones. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Now I gotta peel me some eggs. You got a lot you gotta do? Yes. You gotta peel this more.